and we're back. So this time around, we got before and after for Claire's camera. Direct by Han San Su. Haven't seen his stuff, but I will look forward to it because we have Kim back from The Handmaiden and with Isabel Hubbard, the French crazy actress that I should watch more of her stuff. But basically, it's an intriguing premise here for Claire's camera. Basically, they're at cons and then they meet up and they befriend each other and it looks pretty fun. I mean, I didn't check out the, the, um, the trailer, but this time I just solely watched it because uh, The Return of Kim from Handmaiden. Also, this is a Korean-French collaboration, so that's uh, pretty different. And uh, it's a pretty short movie, 96, 69 minutes actually. So um, definitely seeing the pacing and all that. I heard it's pretty organic and rather cheaply made and it's like, that's his hallmark sort of signature. And granted, this is apparently supposed to be a movie that sort of breaks from his typical, um, how would you put it? Like apparently most of his films lately have been the same tone and stuff. And this is like a break from that. So definitely looking forward to that. And I will definitely check out his other movies. His um, Right Now, Wrong Then, that was also with Kim. So definitely gonna look forward to that. Just check out, see how she's been since then. And yeah, Claire's Camera, short movie. I mean, this is the shortest film I've seen at fifth ever. So gonna see how the pacing works for this one. And uh, yeah, looking forward to it. So uh, just to see how cons work at a, as, a, as a background. So set location or anyways. Anyway, that's it. Uh, this is before and this is after. So yeah, the movie took, takes place during cons 2016 and it was filmed during 2016 of cons, interesting enough. So definitely this is a short film vibe. I haven't seen too much of it, so I don't really know how to gauge. But granted, it had its charms. It was kind of slow in the beginning, and it was just getting into like the mood of it, like where how the sound stage is just literally anything that you hear will show up. Um, they pick up a lot of more breaths and a lot of like background noises, so it's a very different cinematic experience. It's definitely not your typical movie vibe. And there's a lot of long takes for dialogue sequences, so that was pretty interesting. But granted, it was just life. Granted, it's just someone getting fired and then randomly bumping into someone and they having have this photographic obsession of just taking pictures of random strangers and then they just, you know, chill out and hang out. And I mean, that's that. I mean, what did I get out of it? Maybe Kim will get more speaking English roles because she can and I'm pretty sure they probably butchered her grammar a lot more. They, she probably can do full on English but you know just saying that they learn English on the side of the thing. So definitely hopefully in the future she gets English roles because I mean after Handmaiden it's kind of nice to just see her going to doing this type of things because it's a lot more low budget, small scale and shoot with what you got type of thing. I mean, it has its charm. It's a charming film, and that's pretty much all I got from it. And uh, it's definitely different, very different from what I normally watch, so that's always a plus, just to gauge and see different things that directors put out to the world. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I totally connected on it, on like the whole English as a second language, on that level where they just really respond without grammar sense, tenses. Um, with just a lot of ING stuff were dropped and stuff like that. It was an interesting sort of experiment, I would guess so. But yeah, but nothing to write home about, but it's definitely nice to see her. And I do wonder what his other films are like. Maybe I'll probably check it out if I do get the time to find them. But yeah, that's it. Uh, this is before and after for Claire's camera. Later.